1993, a college football team took the nation and the world by the hand and showed them about hard work, camaraderie, and the dramaticness of their lives. This team was the ESU Timberwolves. They were led by Joe, the quarterback, Alvin Mack, star linebacker, Kaminsky, offensive lineman, Darnell Jefferson, rookie tailback, and Steve Latimer, defensive lineman. This is Latimer's song. Coaches watch on with fear. But he passes all the drug tests from the NCAA. So the coaches, they let it go on. I guess it's all about winning at the end of the day. And the head coach is James Conn. Then Latimer bonds with his teammates. And QB Joe meets a girl he likes And Darnell starts to see fucking Holly Berry Who tutors him in English and math sometimes And Alvin Mack goes to visit his mama To gift a door knocker for a home That he's gonna buy her at the end of the year after this season when he turns pro And Latimer soaks it all in This is the season that they're gonna win To him the program is God So he works on his part to do his part Do his part Latimer, oh Latimer let us know your mind Latimer, oh Latimer For all mankind And Joe and Arnell and Alvin Mack and Kaminsky. This group of guys, cronies and colleagues, they get it done, turning many into one. Team, one dream, time to play games. Before.
for the first game of the season against a powerhouse from the south. Latimer seeks out Alvin Mack to spit into each other's mouths. The home crowd's fired up and the team is too. The atmosphere is fun and loud. Then Latimer causes a fumble And James Conn tells him he's proud Then QB Joe comes in for the offense And Kaminsky blocks the way And then Joe hucks a fucking touchdown Fucking excellence is on display but then it all comes down to the defense To seal the victory for the team And then Latimer makes the sack tackle Tearing off the helmet of the other QB And QB Joe's in the Heisman discussion Which makes him drink all the pressure away and he's always sad that his drunk old dad will never come to watch him play. And then Michigan arrives for a big showdown, and QB Joe catches all the blame. Cause he throws in an interception, which means that ESU loses the game. Then things all start to go downhill QB Joe gets in law trouble bad And Arnell ditches Halle Berry Because she won't introduce him to her dad Then Latimer goes to a party And gets rough with a girl while there he does her some harm when he grabs her arm and yells, you let me on, that's not fair. So then his teammates rush in to stop him, and they take him to see the coach. The charge has been dropped, but the damage is done. It's time to take a steroids-free approach. So Latimer gets suspended And coach will test him privately To make sure that he's not deceptive Using somebody else's pee Latimer, oh Latimer Stuck inside your mind Latimer, oh Latimer, for humankind. Alvin Mack was a five-star recruit with an NFL guarantee. But then he calls a guy poo butt motherfucker and he blowed out his knee for all to see on live TV. So he moved back into his poor mom shack. Then QB Joe gets sent to rehab. Cause he's a drunk just like his dad And he doesn't want to talk to his girlfriend Because he is embarrassed and he is sad 
And Latimer tries to clean up his act Dumps his steroids in the toilet like trash And he rejoins the team to revive the dream To fucking tackle, sack, and smash He becomes the defensive captain With no steroids this time around but at the end of the next game, there's a goal line stand And he gets toppled to the ground Which means that ESU loses another game And Latimer knows something's wrong He recognizes that he is not elite Without the steroids to make him strong so Latimer gets back on steroids And lifts some weights to get strong again A place at the table's all that he ever craved Back when we met him back way back when And Darnell hits the books to improve his grades And Halle Berry argues like a girl she tries to explain that he can't meet her dad Until he learns to read good in school And then Joe gets out of rehab And the team shows up to show him support Then they get fired up with their antics and such Then they get back to playing fucking sports and then Latimer gets an oil change Reverse catheting urine into His urethra to hold to be out for the coach So that James Conn has no fucking clue Latimer, oh Latimer The lengths that you go to Latimer Returns to the field, but poor Joe is depressed. His drunk ass dad didn't show up again. So
So James Conn lets him know that he'll be his new dad Because he loves him more than a friend So Joe throws the ball to Darnell down the field Who catches it and he scores so loud Then Latimer makes a big tackle To clinch the game for the hometown crowd then Latimer starts a crying On the bench once they'd won the prize And James Conn could see there were no drugs in his system By the clarity in his eyes Then QB Joe reconciles with Christy Swanson Who's hot as shit we can all attest Berry's dad sees Arnell's darn scores on the reading proficiency test. So this is the story of the program that won our hearts in 1993 for life. Their lows and heights were extreme, but this hard-working team illustrated everything in life. Latimer, oh Latimer, the program parades inside. Latimer, oh Latimer, you tried with pride. Cast Matt Damon as QB Joe. Cuba Gooding Jr. as Alvin Mack. Nicole Kidman as Halle Berry. James Kahn as head coach James Kahn. Kevin James as Kaminsky. Young Christy Swanson as Christy Swanson. Cuba Gooding Jr. as Darnell Jefferson and Andrew Briniarski as Latimer. Alvin Mack's leg healed up fine and after signing his first NFL contract he finally bought his mama a house to match the door knocker he bought for her when he was still poor. But he learned his lesson from that Iowa player he taunted, who blowed out his whole leg. And Alvin never, ever called anybody a poo butt motherfucker again. For Coach James Kahn, who posted an 8 and 4 record that season, the powerful trustees of ESU put a lot of pressure on him to win more games the following season, or else he would be fired and replaced. Then, after a contentious meeting with the sports dean, he was indeed fired. But he kept trying to explain to everybody that he was only pretending to coach football to be in a movie, and that ESU, well, ESU wasn't even a real school. After a successful career in the NFL, Kaminsky became a lawyer and one day defended actor Titus Welliver in a first-degree jaywalking case in Los Angeles, to which he pled no contest. And eventually, Kaminsky learned to play some chords on the guitar. Joe was an NFL first rounder and lasted nine seasons in the pros and before every season he would still offer his drunk ass dad a ticket to every single game but his dad still never ever showed up ha 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 
Then, one day, a few days before a big NFL playoff game, Joe fled from his pro team and told them he was retiring to raise horses on a ranch out west unless his dad would come watch him play even just one time. So, a team representative flew out to the ranch to offer to have the team legally adopt him, which they did, and they went to all of his games. But Joe still went home every year to remind his dad that he was a drunk and he had messed up Joe's psychology forever. And after some successful seasons in the NFL, Darnell retired from football to become an actor. And he quickly landed roles in the movies Juice and Major League Two as Willie Mays Hayes. And later, he became a series regular on the smash hit Fox medical TV show House, starring Hugh Laurie. Hugh Laurie. But eventually, Darnell returned to his first love. That's right, football. When in 2007, he became the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, leading them to two Super Bowl championships. And Darnell is still the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers today. And Latimer, oh boy Latimer. Latimer played for a decade in the pros. Plenty hopped up on steroids, of course. Ha ha ha. And he eventually founded a foundation for underprivileged high school and college athletes to subsidize their oil changes to help them evade detection from steroid and PED use so that they could be elite and dominant and go pro. And after his NFL days were done, Latimer retired onto that golden gravy train of simply relaxing and being a full-time, certifiable celebrity. Somebody said, hey, here's $50 if you get to tell that little short girl. I'll split you with two. Is that, is that what it was? I said, yo, where's the money? I said, pay me, pay me, little man. Put 50 bucks inside my hand. Okay, okay right. so it's good comedy. Anyways. No, I tell you, you have no respect at all. Do I edit all that? I don't care. I don't care. Raw, baby. Raw dog style. What do you mean, yeah? Kid, you better shut up. Oh my god. You're not even 18. Before this She's only 17. Do you realize all those songs were like. Like, now I feel really old, but all those songs were, uh, I don't know. 40 years ago? <laughs> Diane, what do I always say? <laughs> Help this guy out. When they ask me if I need anything, what's my answer? He needs everything. everything. One begins with an H and the other begins with a B. <laughs> You're going to take a while to get you on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hooker's in the world. Hooker's in the world. Hooker's in the world.